this video, I'm gonna teach you three cool effects that you can use in your sports videos in Premiere Pro that you probably wouldn't have thought about otherwise. Hey, what's going on? My name is Peter Sorellis. I'm a videographer and editor from Toronto, Canada. I specialize in sports videography. And in this video, like I said, we're gonna be going over a few cool effects that you can use in your sports edits. These are effects that you wouldn't really typically think to use on regular videos. So without further ado, let's get into this. So we're here in Premiere Pro. I've got a couple football shots loaded up onto my timeline here that I filmed for the CFL. And I have a basketball shot that I filmed for the Canadian Elite Basketball League. Now I actually colored these clips, the basketball shot, using my sports video LED pack, which is available right now on my website, petersorellis.com, using the link in the description below. And the football shots are colored using my football LED pack, which I will be dropping when I get to 10,000 subscribers in October of 2022. So if you're watching this video and I'm already at or beyond 10,000 subscribers, then this football LED pack for S-Log and HLG3 is available as well. But anyways, let's get into the first effect here. So we're going to drag an adjustment layer on and you can see I already have VR typed into the sidebar here. There's a bit of foreshadowing, but we're actually not gonna use that yet. So let's first grab a lens distortion effect. And you, you'll see what I mean when I'm saying we're gonna use some pretty uncommon effects here. You can kind of just grab any of these. It doesn't really make a difference. I'm just gonna grab Phantom Vision 2 1080 medium. These are just random presets for different cameras, but we're gonna adjust this anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. Let's change the curvature on this lens distortion effect to nine, which is gonna give us this type of thing. And then we're going to just grab a transform effect drag that onto our adjustment layer as well. Make sure uniform scale is checked and then just scale this up until the frame is completely filled like that. And you can see the difference between what we had and what we have now. It's just like a little bit of a trippy distorted type of look and it's gonna play into what we do next. So if we go VR chromatic aberrations right here, this is gonna give us this kind of like centered RGB effect that spreads out towards the edges. Maybe we'll bring the red to like minus three, or we'll bring the blue to three, and we'll just leave everything else as is. So we get this subtle RGB effect around the middle of our frame. And please pardon the horrible looking quality of this image right now. I'm just working with proxies, as you can see from the little text in the corner, so that this actually plays back at a reasonable speed for the tutorial. But if you look at this now, this is what our clip looks like with the effect on. And if we play this whole effect back, you can see how different this clip looks with these very subtle tweaks made that you don't really notice when you're putting them on one by one. But when you put them all together, I think it makes a big difference and can add a little bit of an edge to your sports videos. The second clip that we're going to add an effect to is this one right here. And this effect is actually much easier in its application than the last one if you thought the last one wasn't already easy enough. So let's just grab our adjustment layer here. We're going to drag it over top of our clip and we're only using one effect for this. We're just going to use VR glow. And this is just a simple glow effect that makes all of the whites in your image pop out. And as you can see, this effect is making my computer move super slow. It's not being very responsive to me right now, even with proxies on, but we can still kind of get a gist for what this glow is looking like. Here, I think this glow effect is far too heavy. And then you can see at the start here, it actually looks like it's kind of decent. You'll see I'll toggle the glow on and off. There's no glow and there's a glow. And the subject of this shot is the one dunking here who's wearing the white. So it makes sense to use this glow effect. It's gonna accentuate all the whites since we wanna draw focus to this player here dunking the ball. So let's go to kind of like one of the last frames before we zoom in on the close up of this player. Here, I don't think the glow effect looks too bad. And we're gonna add keyframes to pretty much all of these. We can ignore the glow saturation and we don't need to change the tint color because our subject is wearing white and the tint color is already set to white. And now let's just skip forward a few frames to where the glow effect is a little bit too heavy. Here I would say, and we'll change the brightness to like 0.5 down from one. That already looks a little bit better. 
Maybe we can change the glow radius to be a little bit wider as well, maybe 150. This is going to increase the spread of the glow so it won't be so concentrated, but it's rather going to emit from an area and spread a little bit wider so it'll be less intense looking. And I think that still looks pretty fine. Very simple glow effect, but it's a VR effect and you wouldn't necessarily think to look for it. When you play this clip back, you can see what it looks like with the glow and without the glow. Now here's the third and final clip that we're going to be working with. We're just going to again, drag our adjustment layer over top of this clip. And this is going to be another very simple one using a VR effect. So we're going to search for VR digital glitch. And when you drag this on, it's just gonna look like an absolute total mess. This is obviously not what we wanna do, but if you just come under the distortion tab and take all the distortion properties other than the color distortion and zero them out. So distortion rate to zero, distortion complexity to zero, and geometry distortion X to zero. Now what we have is this RGB distortion effect and there isn't actually like a built-in like RGB glitch slider effect that you can just drag onto your clips in Adobe Premiere Pro. I think there should be. It's kind of weird that there isn't quite honestly considering how many people want to do it and how you have to like create layers and stuff to create an RGB effect. But if you just zero out, all of these distortion effects, what this color distortion thing becomes is just a slider that lets you determine the amount of RGB glitch that you want on your footage. So once you have this set, you can actually just come to VR Digital Glitch and you can do this for all the presets that we've done. Right click, click Save Preset and just call this RGB Glitch. Click OK. And then if you come to your effects tab and search RGB Glitch, now you actually have an RGB glitch preset. So I'll delete this so that we don't have an RGB glitch on this footage anymore. I'll grab the RGB glitch and drag it onto our adjustment layer. And all of a sudden we just get an RGB glitch, drag and drop in Adobe Premiere Pro. And we have a slider that we can customize it with. So in this clip specifically, the player goes forward and he gets tackled right there. And then the defender crawls on all fours, bats his chest. I think it's an awesome shot. And we're going to use this RGB glitch to place emphasis on the moments where there's impact in this shot. So obviously the first moment of impact is right here where the player gets hit. So let's keyframe this color distortion. We'll go forward a few frames. The hit's basically done there. So let's add another keyframe. And maybe we'll skip forward 10 frames and zero this out. And let's go back to that first keyframe we made where the hit started. We'll go back 10 frames from there and we'll zero it out again. And then again, we're gonna go forward to where this player starts batting his chest, right here. So let's click on this keyframe to add one at zero. We'll go forward five frames and we'll set this to 75. And we're gonna keep going forward till the chest bat is kind of done. Right here it ends, add another keyframe and go forward another 10 frames and zero this out. This is all subjective to your footage. I'm just messing around with keyframes right here based on what I think is gonna look good, but your shot's obviously gonna be different than mine. But if you play this back now, you can see how the RGB glitches and moments of emphasis kind of draw your attention to those. And I think if you mix this up with a shake effect or something of that nature as well, it can work really well in tandem to draw emphasis to moments where important things happen or where there's big impact in your clips. If you liked this video, then please make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post videography and video editing tips and tutorial videos similar to this one on a regular basis. And I'd love to have you around for that. If you like the way I color my videos, if you like the effects that I use and the edits that I do, then I've got some LUTs, some texture packs, some effects presets that you can go download on my website. I have some freebies down there as well, so you don't even need to pay any money for some of the stuff. It's just there and you can have it because I wanna give stuff away. So that's down in the link in the description. You can go check that out. And if you use any of my stuff in your edits, please feel free to tag me. I'd love to see your work. If you have any questions about anything that we did here today, please drop it in the comment section. I would be happy to get back to you down there. Anyways, that was going to be all for this video. So until next time, peace.